Welcome and welcome back to Plant Based Palettes, where I, Fiamma Jean, make, rate, and taste plant based recipes from all over the interwebs. Now, I am by no means a chef, but two things are for sure I love good food and I can follow a recipe. Wait a minute, have you subscribed and hit the bell yet? If not, what are you waiting for? Okay, back to the video. A little backstory here. I've been a vegetarian since 2016. It all started with a really bad takeout order, steak and eggs. It was gross. I'll spare you the details. Long story short, I decided to stop eating meat that day. Fast forward to two years later, my mom got sick. I decided to donate my kidney for her. And I did all of this research that suggested you heal faster if you adopt a vegan diet. So I did. And I recovered from the transplant surgery and was back at work in 10 days. I'd love to tell you I continued down my plant-based path, but the truth is I dropped veganism as soon as I was cleared to go back to work and dove head first into a pizza. I didn't enjoy veganism and I realized now it was for two reasons. One, veganism is strict AF. You can't have honey. And two, I was taking food recommendations from people who didn't share my love and appreciation for really good food. So here I am dipping my toe back into the plant-based pond, but this time, I'm gonna be exploring recipes that appeal to my foodie soul without the strict restrictions of veganism because your girl has never been a fan of rules. First up is Be For Real's Vegan Spicy Chicken Sandwich. Let's get to it, squad. For the seitan, we're gonna start with one teaspoon of nutritional yeast, poultry seasoning, and garlic powder. Next, we'll add a half teaspoon of Cajun seasoning, a teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of pepper. Now add one tablespoon of vegan Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of unsweetened almond milk, three quarter cups of veggie broth, and two tablespoons of soy sauce. Okay, now whisk this mixture until all of your ingredients are mixed together. I'd say for about a minute. And now we're gonna add a cup and a half of Vital Wheat Gluten. Make sure you mix it up really, really good with your hands. Mix all of those ingredients in there until it forms a dough-like texture. As you're mixing, feel free to break it into two different pieces to really work it in there. This should take you about 30 seconds to a minute. All right, now on to the broth. We're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil, one diced onion, one tablespoon of minced garlic, and eight cups of veggie broth to our Dutch oven. We're gonna make this broth even more flavorful by adding one teaspoon of poultry seasoning, a half teaspoon of pepper, two tablespoons of vegan Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and then we're gonna stir it all up and bring it to a boil. Break off palm-sized pieces of your seitan and add them to your boiling broth. For our dredging, we're gonna combine two cups of flour with one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half teaspoon of pepper, half teaspoon of onion powder, half teaspoon of paprika, half teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of brown sugar, a quarter teaspoon of chipotle powder, now add one teaspoon of baking powder and whisk it all together. For the wet dredging ingredients, you're going to take a half a cup of hot sauce and mix it with a quarter cup of almond milk. You're supposed to add a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, but as you can see, I forgot. Nevertheless, whisk that all together. After your seitan has been boiling for about 20 minutes, remove it from the pot and press out some of the moisture. I use my trusted old tofu press, but paper towels will do just fine. Is it really vegan fried chicken if it's not double battered? If you've ever fried chicken before, this is gonna seem very familiar. Add your seitan to your wet dredge and toss it to make sure it's fully coated. Now add it to your dry dredge and flip it over a couple of times to get it fully covered with the flour mixture. One more time, wet dredge, dry dredge. Do that with your whole plate. Now it's time to fry. I added grapeseed oil to my cast iron skillet and I laid each piece of seitan very carefully because if you've ever fried food before, you know those pops of grease are no joke. Now fry each side for about three minutes each. Since my local grocery store was out of vegan ranch, I decided to top both sides of my bun with vegan mayo instead. Add a couple of sliced pickles, your fried seitan, and voila. This recipe was hard. There were a lot of ingredients. Uh, it took a lot of time, but it could also be because I was filming. I would say from start to finish, it took me about an hour to cook and get everything together. Let's take the first bite. It's hot. Mmm. Okay, it's good much better than I anticipated. It's 
very pretty and it fried up really good, but it was kind of hesitant. This is my first time cooking with vital wheat gluten, so I didn't really know what to expect. I'm pleasantly surprised. You have to press it first. I can imagine that if I didn't press it, it would be much more chewy than I like. And Be For Real points out in her video that there's nothing worse than having a meat alternative that's soggy. This is not soggy. It is a little on the chewier side. Um, it's not really giving me chicken vibes, but that's okay. It tastes phenomenal. The flavor is bomb. I don't even fried chicken this good. This is good. And yes, I still fried chicken. Almost everybody in my circle eats meat, so I still fried chicken, still make meat, all that good stuff, but I don't eat it. Nevertheless, the crunch, it's really, really tasty. And the flavor of that dredging, good job, be for real. This is great. I never had the Popeye's chicken sandwich that everybody's crazy about. But if it tastes anything like this, I get it. I give this recipe a four out of five. It's really good. The flavor is on point. The texture though is just a little too chewy. This is definitely something I would make for friends, a dinner party, or a cookout because there's a lot of food. I made a total of eight pieces of chicken. That's a lot. And I don't know how this is gonna reheat. Also, there was a lot of dredging left that I'm likely not going to use again. So I don't like wasting food. I am not a fan of waste. The broth that you make it in, there's tons of broth, so I save the broth just in case I can use it for something else. This is a great recipe. Very, very solid. Super happy with the results. I wish it didn't take nearly as long. I'm lazy. I like a quick meal, but it's okay. I made it on a Saturday, so I had time to do it. If you're working during the day and then coming home to cook dinner, this is not the one that you want to do. It just takes way too much time, too much effort. Solid, solid recipe. Very happy with the results. Thanks for tuning in to Plant Based Palettes. Excited to see you for the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, squad.